Okay, we have finished the toe and the short rows and we've knit the full length of the heel. Now I'm going to show you how to knit the short rows for the heel, which are just like the toe minus the provisional cast on. So here we go. Just like the toe, you knit across to the first stitch from the end. Wrap it and turn it just like you did in the toe. And then slip that stitch over and work across to the first stitch from the purl end. And I really just wanted to get you started on this so that you could see it works out just like the toe. It's amazing that the shape that worked to cover the toes works to cover the heel. You get to the last stitch from the end on the purl side. You want to wrap it and turn it. Let me show you this. Here's the finished toe and here's the finished heel. They are the exact same shape. <laughs> this one covers the heel and this one covers the toe. You see that? It's amazing. So once you know how to do this, you know how to do this. So here on the work, I have one stitch wrapped on each side. I'm going to follow the pattern to get stitches wrapped on both sides as far in as it tells me to. Then I'm going to go back and pick up those stitches all the way out. Once they're all live again, I begin working in the round. And in this pattern, I have us working a two by two cuff, which is really stretchy. Knit it for as long as you'd like. I've kept this one an anklet just for demonstration purposes. You can knit it longer so that it folds over. Then the last thing I want you to do for the bind off is something called a yarn over bind off. And I'm going to show you an example here on this work even though I'm not ready to bind off here. First thing you do is you start by knitting two, pull that stitch over. Now a normal, a normal yarn over bind off, you yarn over and bind off, then knit one and bind off, yarn over and bind off. With this sock, I learned that you don't need to yarn over every other stitch in the bind off. It actually works better. It gives you a, a nicer edge if you knit two and then do a yarn over bind off. Let me show you. So I'm knitting one, bind off, knitting one, bind off, yarn over bind off, knitting one, bind off, knitting one, bind off, yarn over, bind off. So we're not increasing the number of bind off stitches by two, we're just increasing them by one third, which makes it plenty stretchy enough. And that's it. Once you finish this and you finish binding off, knit another one.